Thank you. Good evening. Do you like the costume? I thought it matched. <laughs> All right. So have you ever been watching a movie or reading a book, and the hero sneaks into the secret lair of some mad scientist or whatnot, and what does he see there? You got these brand new invented machines, genetically engineered monstrosities, and henchmen all in uniform. And you're thinking, how the hell did the bad guy put all this together in the, what, six months or so since he escaped from prison? How do evil geniuses accomplish so much? Tonight, I'd like to share with you a very brief glimpse into how you can use the secrets of the evil genius to destroy your enemies and possibly to be more productive. This is a portrait of me at my remote island compound. Yeah, shut up, I know. Being in 3D adds 10 pounds. <clears throat> so, right, everyone knows you can't use henchmen that are too smart, because then they keep asking for a pay raise, and then they try to assassinate you. So you use henchmen that are stupid. But how often has this happened to you? Your henchmen come back from a mission. Sorry, boss. Batman got away again. Oh, come on! When I said shoot him and throw him in the lake, I meant shoot him in the head, then throw his deceased body in the lake. Don't throw him in the lake first, then shoot at him while he swims away in the dark using his propeller boots. The better you are at explaining the job you want done, the stupider the henchman you can use. This is the principle of decomposition. An evil genius must break his plan down into steps so small that there is no vagueness and no room for interpretation. Like a puzzle. Or like this. Now that is an evil plan that is predictable, reliable, and very robust. Okay, so now your henchmen understand what you want them to do, but are they willing to do it? Loyal henchmen are so hard to find. I had something to say about loyalty. Oh yes, here's what you want your henchmen to do. You want them to run straight forward, nice straight line, get mowed down by 007's handkerchief bazooka, but all they do is complain. So you implant them with an obedience chip, maybe the Autonomy Be Gone 3000, anyone ever use that? Is free will an illusion? It is now, since 1984. Right, so that ought to work. Now listen up, don't implant all your henchmen with your devious mind control device one at a time. That's how the good guys would do it. Yeah, okay, the good guys would not be doing this to begin with. But here's how you are going to meet your dastardly deadline and still have time to steal Christmas. Implant one henchman, right? then order him to implant two more and pass the same instructions on to them. Once you put this uh, principle to work for you, well, this is the principle of recursion is the name, and once you put it to work for you, there will be no world domination scheme too ambitious. So, you're manufacturing addictive drugs to destroy the brains of school children because, you know, Tuesday. And one henchman is trying to concentrate the puppy extract but he keeps getting hung up because the other henchmen can't seem to fill the syringes with neurotoxin fast enough. Meanwhile, the whole time you're standing there waiting, holding a giant vat of highly perishable Guadalajaran insanity juice, like an idiot. An evil genius must check every portion of his plan to see which portions can be done in parallel and eliminate bottlenecks before they occur. This is the principle of parallel processes. Decomposition, recursion, parallel processes. You may have already noticed, these are not just essential skills for the evil genius. These are also some of the fundamental principles of computer science. If you haven't had much contact with computer science in the past, but you find this stuff interesting, I would urge you, go spend just a few minutes to learn more about this stuff, along with modularity, indirect addressing, dimensional analysis. If you work with kids, take a quick look at scratch.mit.edu for a fun game that introduces the evil geniuses of tomorrow to this fun and exciting world. And run an internet search for Python or Ruby. You will find a very supportive community and free tools for writing scripts to put all these principles into action. You will be glad you did, and your enemies will be terrified. Thank you for your time. <laughs>